Okay, so as we're working on Canyon, you'll notice our Canyon is kind of very um, looks same and uniform. So as example, okay, let's surrender. You can see the lines is straight and it's about same equal between the sides. So I want to add some more randomness to this. Like example, right here, same distance, same distance. So they don't look kind of different and they're all parallel lines. So let's fix at some of those effects. Um, the one thing what we want to do is take it instead terrace. We want to add some displacement to this. So let's go ahead. We'll go a simple displacement added. Okay, right here, input, primarily input. We'll go add from our terrace and our distortion amount. We'll just go and create from the Perlin noise. Okay, let's go to unlock so we can preview this point okay let me actually lock this back and you can see we can kind of modify the effect so let's go take direction and pop up string a little bit more right here you can see how distortion applied so you see how they're increasing like in some of those areas or right here example because our distortion going so we increase or decrease some of those layers let's switch maybe kind of go this way I think I like apply this way and we can take all this and add more details or less I think about maybe right here will look good mostly what I was doing the steps I want to see them a little bit deeper or less okay this is will resolve that problem the next what I want to do it is actually kind of apply okay let's say replace right here so we connect them um, next I want to go in a vertical way so I don't want them all be uh, horizontally equal and to do this we'll go to actually modify some for this terrace. so we'll go to take over nine let's go right here and we'll connect to the high field modulation for this one so on a verna we'll go and uh, let's take scale maybe a little bit down uh, around here and as depend on your terrain you can experiment with this but let's go look um, what's happening at this point so you remember we had problem they're all parallel now we did increase right here but also with the verna on a high field when we add You'll notice we have it now look how they're going they're not parallel they're going up and down you see how they're changing so they affecting um modulation in this case it does affect as well because it is applied before erosion so and before high chaser so it will affect also some of this um how the erosion on which level it will work. Okay, let's go take this and maybe just pop up. I think two about six will be a bit better for that one. Okay, on a high chaser, what I want to do it is transition. So we can go ahead, pop up a little bit more to the sharper to the contrast. Okay, let's preview. And it depends on how much you want blending um, between edges of the your preview. So we'll just apply this way. Okay, let's go open and we'll just go all the way just opposite as a comparison. And you can see how much blending apply here. And we'll go all the way this way. As well. So just see which I think help way between will be better because it will take from both of them so we have it very nice see how they are not even you can use the instead of Werner you can always use the different like Perlin and just as example it right here instead this one we can always just use a simple Perlin noise So we can open and it says okay um, how high we want it 
you know modify string okay actually you know what let's just go take advanced ones just advanced because they provide just slightly more for me stepness effect okay i think this one will work a little bit better okay pop up okay we can inside that use it different so it's you won't have it so much smooth in this case we'll have it a little bit more um rigid kind of going up and down so you can see like right here a little bit more rigid so it's not as before waves it's like right here going up going down so a little bit different it's um which one are you looking the other ones look more as was lava or on long higher displacement so i find out where i sometimes work actually better than Perlin and of course you always can switch to different type of the effect applied okay so preview you can see right here so we have a little bit different effect again play runs which one um you know what let's do add a couple more things to this it's already look more interesting kind of different type um i maybe tweak a little bit more with my different type of erosions for example if we take um, lower ones i even create kind of harder and we'll take middle one and opposite just create a little bit kind of more to this point okay and we'll take another middle one and as the opposite create a little bit of color so just reverse see which one will work better and same this one pop up like this let's go render okay right here you can see it's look even one difference so we have a deeper on the middle but in this area is kind of applied um if i did river I probably won't going to apply additional mask just to keep this all the way down and we can put this mask after okay right here and I'm still not sure I like this kind of too heavy erosion so let me go ahead and maybe even they work so we always pop up harder here so I won't keep it little bit more we'll bring this one down so I'll just take everything even actually probably just disable okay so just to keep it um more steps to showing what we have it yeah so this way we have these better steps but we still have it all this erosion applied on different levels i think this way maybe even look better let's go to terrace and we have it five which is okay we can always pop up higher than five however to remember the different erosion will applied to the only five steps we separating because it will take great map and they're using this so but it is will apply differently so let's go and actually take this one just 
just as different. We'll take one. And this is area where we took it, this middle one. So we hit right here. We applied a bit more erosion in the middle. Five. And we work this way. You know, to work something interesting, we could apply um, other effects and maybe, you know, maybe add some rocks with the combat varnish. So, so far, it's what we have it. Okay. And uh, right here, maybe instead, something we want to combine on some height add additional effect. So, for example, I'm going to select this varnish right here. Okay. Let's go open and we'll just go switch this go you can go through different type of effects which one is applied i think this one kind of will be nice three or two uh, rocks probably that one will work a little bit better so kind of more angular rocks cover and i want to take these rocks and i want them apply on maybe with erosion middle erosion right right here it's what was happening so like right between this <laughs> and for this we'll use it go ahead and we'll use it combiner so let me do a couple things before we'll increase size so i can preview and i want to increase like example of distortion amount in direction so it's just just slightly modified okay shapes a little bit more details now I can shrink down after kind of look on this let's click OK okay next I want to integrate this with my Verni so for this one I want to use another combiner and we'll just use a simple combiner for this we'll select one high field another from Verni we'll go preview you can see how they overlaid you know, in some case maybe take even a scale for this okay but what I want to do it's not just the average add so we can look on a couple things we can take maximum so it will take values and add right around those areas we can also multiply which effect will remove some opposite to this and um, difference will also another ones which can create some interesting effect so we can play with this type of the value combinations in a second so let's go ahead and put this on the middle kind of like replacing okay we'll go lock this preview open let's render and you can see right here it's where we applied them so and this is based on our combiner type instead difference let's go to add and we can just add a slightly and you can see which area we're adding like on the middle so I'll just add slightly okay let's go click OK preview so just add a little bit of rock roughness kind of almost to this point okay and this is maybe a little bit too large so let's go decrease okay preview one more time just depend on our rocks on this case what these rocks will provide it's almost smooth but I want to have the sharp rocks kind of poking from the sand so when we're going to sand materials this material right here I can take it hide from my environment from here and apply specific map for the coloring and in our next tutorial what we're going to do we'll just go inside here and we'll start using colorizing new node to apply colors to our terrain so we can preview and see